but the, it's a it's a shit world. <laughs> Have I met you before? I swear I met you at a show in uh, San Luis Obispo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Aiden, right? Aiden Cantalort. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you mentioned the Bay Area. I was like, holy shit. Fuck it. All right, hell yeah. Uh, which they have a... That, that school is an engineering school, right? Uh, yes, sir. Primarily shipping all the students right into the fucking war machine? Fuck yeah, dude. Every, every day. Every, every day. More and more engineers. Science being used to murder... Thousands and thousands of people every year for profit. Hey, it's great. <laughs> but no, it's not unique to that area. Like I come from an area where they did that too. It's a, it's a big, it's a big, uh, stupid world. I, <laughs> I really, really hate this world. Not the earth. The earth is. I mean, the fucking natural world is ruthless enough. But, but the fucking human social world is just like let's 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 dial that up. Let's make it even more fucked up than it needs to be. Why, money? Okay. I get it. I see. I've read economics textbooks. <laughs> That's chapter two. When people usually stop reading after chapter one, the chapter two is like, how to exploit human suffering for profit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Alright, I, uh, I should probably be more optimistic, but I, I just can't. I, can't, I mean, I, I do, I do want to have hope. Uh, meaningless, worthless hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really think it would be pleasant. I'd be more pleasant to be around, that's for sure. I, uh, uh, but I think, uh, actually, I think that, yeah, that's five seconds, right? Uh, yeah. Fucking A. God damn, I can't, well, can, oh yeah, I can, I can close with this. Fuck America! <laughs> One, I guess well, I guess one of the one of the reasons I uh, I guess one of the reasons I, I wear my clothes way way longer than I should I mean way past the point when uh, one of the reasons is because uh, it makes people underestimate me like uh, I, was, I was doing this show this one time and uh, after the show this pregnant woman came up to me like really pregnant like eight months uh, and and she comes up to me and she goes dude uh, don't take this the wrong way but you're a lot smarter than you look. <laughs> and I pointed at her belly and was like, you too. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, you don't need to do that anymore. There's ways to prevent that. <laughs> Easy ways to prevent Why would you... Alright. Uh, it's, uh, it's... Uh, yeah, it's, um... I don't know, um... I guess there's a lot... Of, I guess there's a lot of things that people misunderstand about me. Like, um... Uh, people think I hate America. <laughs> I mean, just just because I say fuck America. All the time. <laughs> but no, like it's. I mean, yeah, I hate I hate the behavior of many different government agencies and corporations or whatever. But fuck America is just like a hilarious oversimplification, right? <laughs> I can't be like you know fuck alcohol, fuck Berkshire Hathaway, fuck Exxon <laughs> Mobil, fuck. Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> Fuck Denny's. <laughs> I can't just list. It takes too long to list everything. So you, you know, sometimes oversimplifications work. I mean, plus, like, it's an American tradition to to be against authority. That is one thing, like, that a lot of countries don't have. Like, a, a substantial proportion of our country hates <laughs> fucking authority. Uh, and and so, like, that's a good thing. I I think like. Even the things that like the most fucking agro Americans are, are upset about, I think in the future are going to be like closely held traditions that, that are going to be loved, like uh, flag burning. Now, still, fucking people hate that shit. Spitting on a flag, stepping on a flag, lighting an American flag on fire. They think that's fucking horrible. Uh, even most people on the left think that's horrible. But I think that's going to be like what everybody's going to be doing on the 4th of July in a few years. <laughs> just be like, this is a, we, we're that free. We shit on our own flag. <laughs> that's how free we are. Look at how fucking I'm pissing and on a burning flag. And, and as a celebration of our freedom, um, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it would be funny, too, because it would like take all the fucking... You know, uh, 
that all the people who oppose who usually burn flags overseas or whatever would be like, oh fuck, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> These motherfuckers are doing this on their holiday. <laughs> Now it means it means that it's gonna look like we're celebrating them. Great. <laughs> we're gonna have to burn something else. <laughs> Cities. All right. Uh, so it's a uh, it's a shit world. It's total total shit. Uh, it, it could be better. Uh, uh, people often uh, I don't know think uh, it's a. Uh, it, it looks like it's improving a little bit. It, it looks like, um, but uh, it's so it's got so far to go. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, yeah it's a uh, it's uh, suicide inducing. Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, never commit suicide. Always homicide. It's way, more, way more entertaining. Way more productive. Be the change you want to see in the world. Right. <laughs> no, no, non-violence, non-violent resistance is the only way to go. Non-cooperation with authority is the best way to defeat authority, especially a ruthless capitalist authority. Uh, there's a very old saying that, uh, uh, that capitalism will sell you the rope, the rope to hang it with. Because it, it makes money off of violence projected against it. Our whole military industry is based on that exploiting idiots being violent. <laughs> so I actually am against violence. All right. Uh... There you are. Oh. Hell yeah. So you guys stoked? There's an election coming up again in a little while. Woo-hoo! And, uh, you know, the candidates are already debating or whatever, right? I'm dumb. Are you guys watching the debates? <laughs> yeah? You stoked? <laughs> Been watching it? I don't. I haven't watched it at all because I, I, they're not going to ask the one question, the only question they should ask of the Democratic candidates. None of the moderators are going to ask you. None of the people who fucking from the audience, whatever they do, they're not going to ask that one question, which is, uh, you guys all know that the 2016 Democratic primary was entirely rigged, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you even doing here? <laughs> Why are you doing any of this? This was totally rigged. Totally, it will be rigged again. Are you guys just pretending? Here? Probably. I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, you're not from this country, and that's a good thing. Uh, not that your fucking shit isn't rigged, too. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's all a, it's a, uh, it's a fraud. It's a fucking dangerously uh, corporate dictator, dictatorial fraud. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, it's a, uh, yeah. Uh, it's one of this. It's from top to bottom, too. It's not just the fucking Democratic primary. Obviously, uh, corporate America has the whole fucking thing under rest. The whole republic was founded on a fucking rigged system, a fake democracy. It's fake. It's all, uh, it's a fake republic. Like Russia, China, fucking Iran, North Korea. Fucking, they're all, they all call themselves republics. They're all obviously fake, except for the one that you live in. It's not so obvious. But it's, uh, uh, it's fucking, yeah, our fucking, from the Electoral College, fucking everybody knows how that, but we lost two fucking, uh, elections over that in the past 20 years, fucking, uh, but then the other shit too, the fucking, uh, the, everything about it, you voted, the fact that you have to register to vote to begin with, that's fucking absurd, but the fucking whole fact that voting day is a single day, weekday, during the day, voting day, like what, like that's, so then when you're at work and you're like, I'm, I'm working, boss, can I, can I go vote, and the boss is like, go vote, how about go fuck yourself, <laughs> Why would I let you go vote? Like, uh, if I let you go vote, then you're going to vote for a candidate who's going to make me pay you more. And give you benefits. Why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> you go vote, you're fired. And, yeah. So that's our, our system is rigged in favor of uh, old people, rich people, white people. That's Everybody knows that by now. Um, and against working people and young people. I love all those fucking... fucking t- the whatever, corporate America pretending it wants people to vote with the rock the vote, get out the vote, all those fucking PR campaigns every fucking election cycle. They're like, oh, get out the vote, you young people. <laughs> and it's like, what? You, you know, you read this fucker. You know they're not. You have prevented them from doing it. They have to take a test on American government while the voting polls are open. Their teacher in American government at the college will fucking fail them if they go vote. Uh, yeah, okay. Doesn't matter how much of a farce it is, we'll never notice. 
in sufficient numbers to overthrow this total fucking facade. But it's not all bad. It's uh, it's all bad. <laughs> it is definitely all bad and should be immediately uh, dismantled. But we're cowards and imbeciles generally, so it won't be fixed. Anyway, uh, nothing will change, and uh, everyone will accept that without any. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to close like so uh, strong. <laughs>
Yeah, fucking um. I don't know. The one question I don't know, I don't hear a lot of people saying uh, is like, why are cops even pursuing black people? Why are they even bothering them? Ever? Like, I mean, before the civil rights movement, there was they didn't have to have a reason. They would just bother them and fucking all the other horrible shit. But like since then, they had to have a reason. So Nixon started the drug war. So the, the ostensible reason is wh they might have something, might have some contraband or whatever related to the drug war or whatever. Um, you know, like, <laughs> all right, people aren't gonna like this either. <laughs> I don't know, you know. I mean, Say it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I don't need your fucking facetious snaps. Uh, you know. The, dr the drug war, like, because, like, I mean, you know, black people, white people, everybody does drugs, but the cops selectively uh, enforce the drug laws in black communities in order to collect slaves. Like, you remember when you used to collect baseball cards? And, like, all the different cards, each different card had a different black dude on it? I mean, if you, if you collected a lot of them, you, they would be valuable. <laughs> I mean, when you were really young, you just put them in the spokes of your bike wheel, but that's you didn't know any better. When you got older, you were like, "Holy shit, this this could be this could be worth something." So you put them in a case for a long time, and the longer you keep them in that case, the more money you got in the end. It's, it's not just baseball cards, but football cards and uh, basketball cards too. Not hockey cards, though. They were all white. <laughs> Nobody collected the hockey cards. Um, fucking, um... So yeah, are you are you guys what well, you guys uh, into the new sports, the uh, the street politics sports? You guys into that? Which team are you on? The uh, are you on the cops team? On the blue jerseys? It's a lot of a lot of uh yeah um I don't know uh, I hear all the time I hear, cops just can't stop complaining about how dangerous their jobs are. How every time they walk up to somebody's driver's side window, they might get shot. I'm like, yeah, you just walked up to somebody's fucking window with a gun, trying to take hundreds of dollars from them, or kidnap them, or kill them. Of course they shot you. You piece of shit. All right. My opinions are not popular. Seriously, what? How are you going to complain about a job like that? That fucker from Tiger King didn't complain when their arm got tore off. They're right back there. Cops, you should be happy to be shot in the face with, when you go to approach somebody's window. Do they not know that they're there to kidnap people and steal their money or kill them? Do they not know that? The concentration camp guards not know what they were doing? <laughs> Did they not know what the fucking job was at Auschwitz? Did, they, did Arnold's dad not know what the fuck he was? All right. <laughs> my, my dad was a police officer in Germany in what year? Okay. <laughs> he said that in interviews. My dad, my dad was a cop. I love, all right. He's fucking oblivious still. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, it's not likely to improve. We like I said, we're we're not a we're not a bright ape. Our species is uh, pretty, pretty dumb. Uh, yes, 0.03% can invent toasters and shit, but the rest of us are just fucking sitting in the tent watching some asshole. <laughs> they don't really do anything of importance. They fucking love, I still can't get over it. I don't understand how they don't know what they signed up for. Like... Are people that oblivious of their fucking jobs? Is everybody is everybody that oblivious? Are, are soldiers on the battlefield going, Holy fuck, Bobby just got shot! Yeah! 
That's what Bobby's there to do. Yeah. That's all he's there to do. Yeah. That's what you're there to do too, stupid. <laughs> I don't know, a garbage man like at 10 a.m. going like, what's been that fucking smell all day, man? <laughs> what the fuck is this? How are people just oblivious? They don't understand what the fuck they, their job is. It's it's really a... I don't know, like, they're fucking... No, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Like, um, they don't, it's, did no one, no one ever explain to them, look, cops, you're, you're, you're there, you're there to risk your life to protect rich people's property. <laughs> you, you were brainwashed into sacrificing yourself so that these assholes could not get a scratch on their boat. <laughs> you were there to uphold a bigoted system to, uh, they don't, yeah. Again, the concentration camp guards were like, we're against the Jews? What? <laughs> I had no idea. I, th I thought this was just a factory like any other. In a way. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, the, um, the, the fucking, uh, yeah, the, the world is, um, eh, a fucking, eh, uh, Gaping asshole. It's just, it's just not. It's not gonna. Uh, I uh, I guess um. I don't know. Uh, fucking uh. Yeah, see they're hard at work again. You hear them? <laughs> Out there collecting slaves, kidnapping people. Corporate America's profit. It's great. Listen to that. The sound of money being made. See? They heard it. I was like that truck thing. So you pull the. Hey, that's right. We put on the. They got the catch register sound too as they're going. <laughs> Collect those slaves. Fucking uh. Again, I don't think that all cops are bad. I think that all American cops are bad. <laughs> But in Finland, Canada, there's many other places where the cops are not that bad. But, uh, you know, in a bigoted empire, it's kind of hard to, you know, if you're part of that. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, I'm already on all the lists. No need for you to call any offices. <laughs> I want to talk about rape babies. <laughs> nah, not nah, nah, it was just a, you know, cheese ball juxtaposition thing. Uh, I actually want to talk about the, um, the election. The, uh, you got, you got some, there's a, there's a little trope or fucking something that's been going around for a while or whatever that I'm, from 2016 or whatever about the, um, the Hillary Trump thing or whatever. They say, you know, like, uh, over half of white women voted for Trump. And they're like, how the fuck? It was technically 47% voted for Trump and 45% voted for Hillary or whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, that's, that's crazy. 47% of white women. And then if you look at all women, it's 40% of all women voted for Trump. And that's fucking like crazy. People can't understand it, but I understand it perfectly. 40% voted. Yeah, I can see how that happened because in America, 40% of women vote for Trump. 33% of women who are raped have the baby if they're impregnated via the rape they have the baby so i can see how 40 percent would vote for trump if 33 percent will have a rape baby <laughs> america doesn't surprise me when that statistic is a reality you know you know it's just that's true too of all the, of the of the reported 32,000 rape pregnancies every year, 11,000 rape babies born. Women in America are very brainwashed. Uh, I don't know if that statistic holds in other countries. Canada? I mean, I would have heard it. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. 999 out of 1,000 Canadians would <laughs> abort the baby if they're rapist. 
Uh, indoctrination is uh, solid here. Solid, solid stranglehold on the bitch in this country. I, I was not at all surprised that 40% of women voted for Trump. Uh, you know. Fucking it. Alright, um, you know. <laughs> It's it's a it's a shit world. It's a it's a shitty shitty world. Uh, you know, it's a it's a stupid stupid place. I mean, we you know, I don't think the human animal is designed intellectually to spot ironies at a fast enough rate to prevent its own destruction. 